so guys the next thing is salary yes salary beautiful people welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Koforola. as always yes it's still your favorite international shagala in the building <laughs> yes <laughs> so if this is your first time of tuning into my channel you're welcome to rollers vlog thank you for stopping by i create content related to lifestyle lifestyle of a nigerian domestic worker or housemate in an arab country i also talk about everything and anything <laughs> so please do me a favor by clicking on that red button that says subscribe yeah that red button that says subscribe and please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video yeah guys <laughs> i know you guys are just wondering like why is this girl looking all pink like looking like this i just finished filming a video so that's why i'm looking all gorgeous With my with my local makeup like i'm not a makeup guru so that is why i'm looking like this but i still feel good <laughs> so all shagalas in this arab country so you guys are amazing you guys are the best you guys are the real g <laughs> you guys are the real g yes you know what you know what i mean 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 <laughs> so guys that is it so guys before i start you need to watch this video till the end don't forget to like subscribe share comment okay guys okay guys okay guys guys there's nothing wrong when you eat that like button like there's nothing wrong Oh, I don't know I don't know why you guys find it hard to hit that like button please just don't forget to hit on that like button so just thumbs up for this video please okay guys okay guys okay guys okay guys so guys in today's video I'll be talking about the real struggles of a housemate in an Arab country guys this is the part two I already did the part one last year so this is the part two if you haven't watched the part one I'll put the link up here so that you guys can Go and watch it yes you need to watch the part one and watch this one as well so guys without wasting much of your time let us dive straight into the video so guys the first one is depression like I didn't talk about depression in the first one I did last year the part one because this one is the part two so the first one is depression so guys the struggle is real if you aren't strong enough like if you are not strong enough if you don't have positive people around you if you don't have people that you know that say positive things about Arab people if you don't have people that you know give you good advice my dear you'll fall into depression yes you will fall into depression like <laughs> even for the fact that you are just here my dear you'll be depressed like you just the only thing you need is positive vibes the only thing you need around you is positive vibes yes so that you won't fall into depression because depression is real my dear in this arab country depression is real you will feel depressed you will be depressed and <laughs> no one will know that you are depressed you can even be laughing with people but you know what you're feeling like you know what is going on within you so that is it this is one thing that like it's a struggle like you're just on your own you don't have anybody to communicate with the only people you communicate with are the people on your phone on your whatsapp so guys it is so so hard like there's no how you won't feel depressed because when i was here I just you know i was so lucky i said it in one of my videos i was so lucky when i came here i had a lot of people around me a lot of positive people around me like a lot of nigerians around me so i didn't feel depressed yeah it was when i changed house that i started feeling one kind one kind one kind <laughs> so that is it guys so guys this is the first thing so guys the next thing is that there's no privacy yes guys in this arab country there's no privacy this is one real struggle you know guys there are a lot of people that you know 
that sleeps in the kitchen like they literally sleep in the kitchen they literally sleep in the visitor's sitting room and you know that this their visitor's sitting room is like is like they use it every day you can't sleep there you can't have like <sighs> my dear there is no privacy even if you have your room there won't be privacy because they will have something they are keeping in your room if they are not keeping their clothes in your room they'll keep the children's things in your room they'll keep the toys in your room so they just come in any how they want the way they like so guys there's no privacy this is one real struggle of being a housemaid in an arab country there's nothing like privacy yes there's nothing like privacy so you just have to you know you just have to keep your things well and you know that is it so guys the third one is that there's no off days yes guys no off days like there's nothing like off in this arab country yes you work every day you work from january to january yeah january to january december to december there's nothing like off day <laughs> the only time you have to yourself is maybe when your madam or your boss is not around when they all go out and you are alone at home that is the only time i feel like oh i just want to rest i just want to be on my own i just want to you know have my time but off day is out of it this is one real struggle when i was in my country when i was working i used to have off days i used to have off days yes i don't go to work on saturdays even on friday most times i don't go to work on fridays at times but mostly on Saturdays, I don't go to work. So that is it, guys. But in Oman, there's nothing like that. You work every freaking fucking day. Yeah, you work every freaking fucking day. <laughs> so that is it. So, guys, the next thing is salary. Yes. Salary. Like guys, I don't know about other countries, but I feel we Africans are collecting one crazy salary. Other countries like Philippines, um, Indian, Sri Lanka, they are collecting a very good salary. They are very, collecting a very good amount. But Africans are collecting crazy salaries. But anyways, we thank God. We should just bless God because at least we see they collect something. <laughs> so that is it, guys. That is it because I really can't say much about this salary issue. But it's kind of annoying. At times when you look at your salary, just be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? But at the same time, you see, I bless God. Yeah, that is it, guys. So, guys, the last one is that there's no law to protect us in this Arab country. I mean, we shagalas, like, we housemates in this Arab country. There's no law to protect us. If your madam or your boss wrong you, like, if they do anything bad to you, guys, guys, don't even bother to go and report to them because, my dear, they will support them they aren't gonna support you because you're not one of them you are just like 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 nobody yes so that is it guys that is it it is better you avoid trouble because <laughs> nobody will support you my dear nobody will support you even if you're telling them the truth like they will still support each other like they themselves know that oh you're saying the truth you're but they will still support each other because there's no law that is protecting shagalas and all of that guys and this is so so crazy that is why at times you just have to you just have to do your things gently so that is it guys so guys let me know what you think let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and if you watch this video till the end you are amazing you are amazing you are amazing i love you 
thank you so much thank you so much and guys if you aren't following me on instagram what i'm still doing i'll put my instagram handle right here so that you guys can follow me on instagram okay guys see you guys in my next video bye